Hi everyone, Nick Gilpin here from Beaumont, here with a quick COVID update. So hospitalizations are going down, but community positivity rate is still high. How should we be interpreting these numbers and what behaviors make the most sense right now? Well, for starters, it's great to see our hospital numbers start to go down. We're currently seeing nearly 50% fewer COVID patients than we had at our peak back in mid-January. But community case numbers are still incredibly high, and I've said it before, but we are definitely not out of the woods yet. Given such widespread transmission in the community, it makes sense to keep taking precautions to prevent new COVID cases. One preventive tactic that has been shown to be helpful time and time again is masks. And not just any mask, but particularly a snug, well-fitting mask with two or more layers of breathable fabric that completely covers the nose and mouth and chin. While most masks and respirators provide some protection, properly fitted respirators such as N95 respirators provide the highest level of protection. Wearing a highly protective mask or respirator may be the preferred approach in certain situations, high risk situations, or by some people at increased risk for severe disease. But some masks or respirators may be less comfortable or more difficult to wear for extended periods of time. Therefore, the best mask for you is the one that is available to you, comfortable enough to wear, and provides a good level of protection. So while numbers are looking good and things seem to be headed in the right direction, our healthcare teams are certainly exhausted, and there's still lots we can do to keep from going in the wrong direction. And that includes masking, getting vaccinated, or if you're eligible, getting boosted, staying home or staying away if you're sick, and getting tested if you have symptoms. And for all your coronavirus needs, keep it here.